About 25 million Americans suffer from migraine headaches. A good percentage of them are women. While they are powerful prescription drugs available, few offer lasting relief. But now a treatment for wrinkles may be the answer migraine patients have been waiting for. Plastic surgeon Dr. William Binder stumbled on one of the biggest medical breakthroughs of modern times. Seven years ago, he pioneered the use of Botox to get rid of facial wrinkles. It was during his initial research that he discovered the drug, which comes from the bacteria that causes botulism, can actually do away with migraine headaches. Most of the patients who had headaches then came back about three months later and basically told me that their headaches were gone. He tested the theory on more than 100 migraine patients. About 80% of patients experienced a reduction in pain and frequency. It has no side effects to my knowledge and it doesn't do anything to me, it just feels wonderful. That little injection hurts a tiny little bit and that's it. One morning, Gabrielle Schenker came to Dr. Binder with a throbbing migraine. He injected her forehead with Botox and... An hour and 15 minutes later, I was, I was ready to work again. I was a different person. Botox is one of the deadliest poisons known to man, but when used properly, Dr. Binder says it can be safer than aspirin. Dose for dose ratio, this is safer than aspirin. Many of the migraine medications on the market may only relieve symptoms for a matter of hours. Botox can be injected beforehand. It can prevent migraines for up to three or four months. Researchers don't know exactly how it relieves migraines, but they do know it can be effective. This is going to help an enormous amount of patients, but also be probably the mainstay therapy in migraine. As a new mom, Gabrielle can't afford to let migraines slow her down. She says after years of suffering, she's finally free. Freedom? Mm -hmm. Definitely. A lot of it. It's wonderful. Good for Gabrielle. Botox is still an experimental treatment for migraines, but more and more doctors may be offering this on an investigational basis. Dr. Binder says while it can help a majority of patients, it doesn't work for everyone.